How's it going? What's up? What's happening there? Bless your beautiful souls. Kiara Cash here today with the Crypto Bless Show. Thanks for being here with me on the channel. Guys, if you want to know what is going on in our economy, what made Bitcoin pump yesterday and today, then uh, make sure that you watch this video right to the end. I have a bunch of charts that are going to absolutely shock you. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, guys, seriously. I mean, when I was looking at them, I was absolutely blown out of the water um, when I saw this stuff. And um, let's just not even waste any more time. Make sure, guys, right now, I am going to publish this video. It was meant to be out at 6.30, but I'm just busy editing and finishing this off for you right now. So it'll be up as soon as it is. Uh, that is uh, 6.35 UTC time. So, okay, anyways, guys, wow, I don't even know where to start. Okay, first of all, let's start off with the Dixie. Okay, let's just get the Dixie because we all talking about the dollar. The debt ceiling was raised by $4 trillion slash to 2025. So without any real, you know, closure that yes, it'll be $4 trillion and not a cent more, you know, they basically just opened up the roof to say, okay, well, cheers, you can just print whatever you want up, up until 2025, which they'll reevaluate. Not whatever you want, but they're just printing crazy amounts of money, guys. So now if they're going to print crazy amounts of money, what do you think the dollar's going to do? Okay. What do you think it's going to do, guys? On the monthly, we are oversold. Look what happens when we're oversold. We rally like fucking crazy. Now, I have been saying to you guys that potentially, is there a potential for us to get back up to this all-time high? I mean, that's 160, guys. If they turn on the printers and by 2025, you know, that is kind of, uh, that's somewhere, uh, yeah. Uh, 26, 26, 26, 26, 24, 25. There, that's over here. That is quite quite a quick amount of time for them to get from where they are right now to there, guys. That is literally like a deep ass rally right through here. Could stop here by 140, 145, pull back like crazy. Guys, if that happens, that is terrible. Terrible for all kinds of assets, okay? Now, I'm hoping that it is the scenario that I have previously drawn down for you guys. But guys, chartists and charts and the RSI don't fucking lie. Okay, they do not lie. So, you know, if we pull back here, we could flatten over here for a little bit, which means that we could come down a little bit. Okay, and then maybe make that crazy monthly rally up here. Okay, to this point back again. But if we do it from here where we found support on this blue line, my goodness me, guys, we probably are going to go back up to that level up there. So, guys, a lot of information on the dollar there for you. Now, there is always going to be plenty to share with you on the dollar. OK, make sure to not miss out on this chart at all. OK, now let me just delete that little guy there. But OK, now what I want to go and show you very, very much so is that this beautiful rally that we've had in Bitcoin, okay, we smashed up here was not because China and Hong Kong are coming in on the first and maybe there's going to be money because they're really just accepting license applications to the market, not actually, yes, you know, we're going to allow all cryptos to come into the Hong Kong. No, that's not what's happening. So right now for me, short term time frame, yes, the dollar, I mean, the, the Bitcoin price could just pull back a little bit here. Um, so yeah, there, as you can see, Bitcoin is busy having a little bit of a sell on this time frame, which could bring us back down again, which could bring us down to here again. Okay. And bring the RSI down to here. Once that reset, we can maybe expect another bit of a pump here. And now I'm going to show you exactly why. So what has been making Bitcoin pump? Well, it hasn't been China because China is actually currently busy falling, okay? Which means that there's no correlation there to that, okay? Well, although it would be an inverted correlation, uh, I don't believe that that is the case. So what I'm going to show you guys now is, okay, BTC dominance is busy having a 
very, very sad moment on the four hour time frame also. And you can see there that we're getting a very sharp sell off right now. Um, we have been hit at this rejection level once again with a good amount of volume coming in there, uh, a decent amount of sell volume, you know, decent enough for the same rally. So guys, probably time to take some profits on those beautiful trades that you've been in and wait for a new entry level. Okay, so uh, I'll, I need to go and show you something now. Thanks for being here. Guys, if you're enjoying the content and you want to know what this real story is all about and where I'm getting at to my point, make sure to stay right here to the very end. And please, can you smash up that thumbs up for me on the channel right now? And thank you to all my subscribers. I really appreciate it, guys. It takes a lot of work and effort to do these videos for you. And I love doing them. So let's get to them and like the video. And of course, if you want to trade, then hit my Bible link down below. Uh, but none of these things that I'm about to show you, except for Bitcoin, can you trade on Bybit. So, guys, we know about the Dixie. Now, let's go and quickly have a look at the NASDAQ. Okay, so I want to go and show you Bitcoin on the monthly, and I want to go and show you the NASDAQ on the monthly. Okay, so let's look at the NASDAQ firstly. Okay, so NASDAQ, currently we had a buy signal from here to buy. Now we've had a confirmation on the UT bots. Look what happens when the buy confirmation comes in. Okay, with these Hakanashi bars, they it pumps, guys. It fucking pumps. Okay, so could we get a sharp rally up to the top here? Yes. Guess what? That is the next resistance level on this, anyways. So it is a very high potential for us to hit somewhere at that level. Okay, um, before any sharp retracement happens on the monthly time frame. Now, what I want to show you is the SMP is doing something very similar. So the rally started pretty much over here by the S&P 500 over here. This was the point. Okay, this candle here told us to buy the S&P 500. Now guess what? Today's candle, uh, sorry, this month's candle is telling us to buy. Now remembering that this is on the monthly, hey? So last month was a buy. This month so far is a buy. Uh, this month is a buy on the S&P 500. Could we come and reach that all-time high on the S&P 500 as well? Well, it is a high possibility right now. Um, and we could essentially on that time frame really pump up to this level and create a still a new lower high and then fail and then maybe break this low quite dramatically to this point over here. Um, if this continues to pull up there, otherwise it can just knock down. Uh, so, you know, there are multiple scenarios that can play out here, but more news here for us because let's go and have a look and I'm going to tell you exactly why. Okay, what's going on? Now, this is India, guys. This is the Indian the Indian uh, Nifty 50 futures. Okay, look at it. It has just been pumping nonstop. Now, I need to show you. This level here was January 15th, uh, 2000, January 2015. They literally said we're printing money. So guess what? There was a sell out of the market to get the shit out and then they bought into the market and then C19 pumped the market. Guys, it is inevitable that these central banks across the world have to continue to keep printing money. Okay, it is inevitable. Look at this. This is down here, the RSI. It's still got to go pump up. What? No, who knows? We could make a rally like very much like this. Okay, which essentially would create an insane price action move to the top side here. Okay. Look at that. That would be crazy. A crazy move. That's like another 10,000. That's a 50% move to the top side. Guys, that's if they continue to print money. Now, China is the exception to the rule. And this is why I don't believe China is the case bringing money in. Because first of all, yes, we're in a bullish pattern, long term, higher lows, higher highs. Okay. India is doing the same thing, higher lows and higher highs. Okay. So is the S&P, higher highs higher lows. So is the NASDAQ, higher highs, higher lows, mostly. And then you have your pullbacks. We're having a pullback. Okay. Now I want to go and show you something before I go and show you that chart. The, Chine, the, the, the uh, Chinese stock market, okay, could essentially is looking a little bit bullish. So we could fall here um, and then rebound off of this level, break through this level and then smash and then pull up. Okay. Alternatively, we could just pump through here, pull back to the breakout low zone and then pump really hard up to there. Okay. 
potentials. Could it go to the downside? Yes, it could go to the downside. It could just reject here and fall out this level. Now, that would be finding a position here. That would still be a bullish pattern for the Chinese stocks. Now, even more crazy, okay? What do you think I'm showing you here, guys? Am I not showing you? So this is the JSE Limited. This is the South African Stock Exchange where I live, okay? Higher lows, okay? And higher highs here, essentially, okay? We can even draw this like this. Boom, okay. And essentially, we could take this level and draw this like this, okay. We were rejected from this zone here. We were rejected. So is this stock market potentially going to come down? Perhaps. We're pulling down on the monthly, but we've quite sold and we haven't broken that low. So could we have a rebound here, which could essentially work in the favor to the upside to meet this line right up here? Okay, or could we just fall here, break through there, bash down and come here? It would still be bullish, right? In the me in the longer term time frame, but not in the short term time frame, of course. Now, even more scary, guys, this is the Russian stock exchange. <laughs> guys, look at this line. We have broken through. We have confirmation from the RSI all the way from down here to take the trade up on the on the Russian Stock Exchange. Now, the scary thing about the Russian Stock Exchange is yes, we're at a bit of a level here. Could we pump up to this level and then come back down? If we did, we would be looking for a head and shoulders pattern. And that is a gigantic ass pattern to the downside, guys. Look at that size of that head and shoulders pattern. If we did, we would literally completely arrange, erase the entire um, Russian stock market. Now, do I believe that's going to happen? No. Do I believe that there is something busy playing out and that we could come to this level up here? Yes. And even break through, which could essentially invalidate the head and shoulders pattern. Something like it's busy happening on Bitcoin, especially considering that Russia are in, enjoying it. Could we come up to this level and kind of create a bit of a resistance zone up there? If you look at that very closely, that is very powerful, guys. I'm not saying it will happen now. We could just float here. We could pull back a little bit and then make that rally up. Okay. Lots of scenarios that could essentially unfold in this moment there. Okay. Now, for the craziest, craziest news, you have to stay right to the end. I've got one or two more charts to show you right now. This is the very reason that the liquidity is coming into the space. Now, if you looked at all those charts, the Japanese, sorry, the, the, the Indians, the Chinese, the Japanese, um, the Russians, the South Africans, pretty much all of them, the money is coming into, they're starting to print money, guys. Look at this. This is the Bank of Japan. Boom. Bam. Okay. They're now in exactly about $550 trillion. Okay. Um, sorry, 500 trillion, 550 trillion Japanese yen in their currency. Okay. That's how much their inflation rate is right now. Well, not inflation, their monetary. Um, okay, fiscal and monetary. So uh, figure two is Japan residents net purchase of overseas debt, okay, has gone substantially down, but it is rising since 2022. Okay, so what does that mean? They're taking all this fake ass paper money that has been printed into existence and putting it in elsewhere, which perhaps is exactly why this could be pulling back up. This could be pulling back up. This could be pulling back up. Uh, this is pulling up. This is pulling up. So all stocks are basically correlating with one another. Now let's go and have a look at the Japanese. Now I, don't, I can't put this in a. Um, I can't put this in a uh, the Hakanashi candles. Unfortunately, it just it won't do it with this chart. But if we have a look at that, okay. That is a strong trend. Now, this is data all the way from kind of 1950. What's this year? 1950. Yeah, 1950. Now, get a very good strong look at this chart, guys. I want to show you something insanely, insanely powerful. Okay, because right now, this is forming a serious cup pattern. Okay, could we pull back and then break out? Perhaps it looks like gold, right? Doesn't it look like gold all the way since 89? That's about as old as I am, uh, young as I am. 
Dying old. Okay, so that's the first thing here. Now, the second thing is that there will be a little bit of resistance at that level. Now, I need to show you on this chart if we do this. Okay, since um, since basically here, February 2009, the, this has continued to pump. Okay, so has Bitcoin right since 2000 this chart only goes to 2011 has pumped okay now i'm showing you some serious crazy correlation on this chart okay have a look at this okay bit of a topping pattern um there will be some resistance there but if we draw these lines boom breakout boom breakout Boom, breakout. Boom, breakout. And last one. Not there. Oh, let me get this chart. Boom, breakout. Look at that, guys. Breakout, pullback. Breakout, pullback, breakout, pullback, breakout, pullback, breakout. Are we coming to this level on the Nikkei? So money has come into the Bitcoin market because of the Nikkei mostly printing money over here, guys. So this is this is very interesting. So you can see the correlation there between the Nikkei and the Bitcoin chart at the moment. Although the Bitcoin chart hasn't formed a cup and handle pattern. Um, Excuse me. And to be honest with you, I don't think it will. Okay, this is 36, 37, 34 years of market mover. Okay, but right now we are continuing the pattern to the top side. There will only be resistance at this level. Okay, at this point we could just mimic down and then bam! New price discovery because they just continue to print money okay now one scary ass chart that i'll have to show you and the now this is telling you where the money is coming into uh, for bitcoin okay including coming in from um a lot of these other charts that i've been showing you now let's just show you one last chart guys this is going to make you freaked out okay this is goldman sachs look at goldman sachs for some beautiful time, we have been on an upward trend pattern here, okay? Even if I have to draw this for you, boom, okay. Broadening megaphone, we hit resistance there. Guys, I'm pretty confident that this line is going to hold resistance. We will break this pattern here. The monthly is still pulling down. Goldman Sachs has fallen down quite substantially. Um, and essentially, if we break this zone, our target would be down at this level right here. As you can see over there, over there, and over there, much uh, support essentially. And um, you know, we could essentially end up down here even before a move back up. Now, I want to show you something absolutely crazy, guys. <laughs> Hold on to your horses because currently this has had a 33% drop. Now, isn't Goldman Sachs supposed to be the biggest bank in the world, the best bank in the world, and the number one bank institution in the world? yeah that they brag so much about if that had to fall down to the next level that's a 47 percent fall they would have lost half their net value if that had to fall down here they would have lost 57 percent of their net value guys did you hear me 50 percent the biggest bank in the world losing 50 percent of their money guys that is insane okay Hope you enjoyed watching. Let me know what you guys think down below. Please like, subscribe because it takes a lot of energy as you guys can see for me to make these videos for you. Thank you for watching my channel. Appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one, beautiful souls. Have a good evening.